Hey guys, what's up? I'm Beagle, I'm a Masters Kaisa player, and I peaked rank 1 Kaisa uh, not too too long ago, not too too recently, but I did, what matters is that I hit it, right? Uh, today, I'm going to be doing something I've never done before, very different on the channel. I'm going to be um, doing live commentary, uh, a little bit of more educational content this time around, rather than my typical uploads, which is like, you know, mashes up, mash up of videos and stuff, or mash up of games. Um... This game, we're definitely going to go long sword triple pop. Uh, but today, I'm going to do something different uh, because, uh, you know, I've been getting so much support on my last two videos that I uploaded. I decided to do something a little special as a thank you. So this, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be telling you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, when I'm doing it, and the reason I'm not doing it or whatever, it, you know. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll help you get a little bit of insight on what it's like to like you know what the rank one Kai or what a former rank one Kaisa player thinks like. Um, so first things first to start off is starting items. Uh, we're against a full poke land. We're against Sona Varus. Um, so we want to go uh, long sword triple pot for sustain. If we were against uh, let's say Lucian Nautilus, we'd want to go Doran's Blade because uh, you know we need the health to survive all ins and uh, have better traits. Um, but, you know, it's really hard to trade and win with poke lanes because we can't really get into range with them. So, we need pots. So, uh, next thing on the list is I want to look at my team comp, right? Uh, you typically do this while you're in the loading screen, but I'm doing this now. Uh, so we have AP, AD, AD, uh, hybrid, AP. So she's going to walk up, queue us, that's fine. The main goal here is to not take too much poke, but get CS. Our level 1 is far worse than theirs, so unfortunately, we are just going to have to live with it. Take a little bit of abuse, level 1. Make sure we're getting these minions. We can give up one or two, it's not the end of the world. We just don't want to die. We just don't want to get poked out too, too much. That's all. I came for the hunt. I got us level 2. Night. She's dead. That's fine. Good job. She overstayed her welcome a little bit there, eh? Good job, Malka. So as you can see, since we didn't take too, too much poke early game, we were able to re-engage. But imagine if we got super poked down. Uh, if we got super poked out, level 1, we probably couldn't have turned that. Sona made a big mistake there. By the way, I am in like D3 elo. D4-ish. So not super high elo, but... Um, I'm not in my like my main account or anything, so I apologize for that. But uh, I it's a lot easier to get these videos out in more quantity if I play on lower elo. Because um, yeah. Anyway, uh, my runes. Sorry I didn't talk about it earlier. My runes: Lethal Tempo, Triumph. Uh, I think I can walk away. Um, there's fucking Sona is griefing. All right, so if I get W here and I get level three, I can kill him. Should be able to catch him here. Nice. So right now we're gonna we're gonna kill two minions in back. And the reason is is I'm not gonna be able to shove this in time. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to freeze. Right? I might have miscalculated it. Fuck. I think I'm... No, it'll still freeze. It'll still freeze. We're good. So I'm going to go... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go uh, this. Actually, yeah, we're going to do this. That's fine. All right. So as you can see, the reason I backed there... Uh, you do, By the way, you don't want to take that long in, in base um, because I, now I'm probably going to miss a little bit. The reason I back there is because I don't have the HP to keep shoving and the wave's too big for me to shove it out before they get back. So instead, I back and set up a freeze for myself. See? I instantly recalled after killing him because I knew I couldn't be I wasn't able to crash it under tower in time before he got back. I could have W'd this, I'm sorry. I was trying to I'm stupid. I was I was too busy showing an example. But yeah, I should have W the cannon. But yeah. Um Kaisa's really good at wave clear, but the wave was too big for me to shove and crash before he got back. So I just decided to back and look, I barely missed anything. I mean I did miss something, but you get the you get the idea. Alright, Maokai's back. Nice. 
Okay, back to my rooms. I'm sorry, I get so distracted. See, this is why I'm bad at this. This is why I never do this, because I'm really bad at it. Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Bloodline, Coup de Gras, uh, with Biscuits and Boots as my secondary, because we need Sustain in this lane, obviously, because they're full poke, right? So going back to earlier, the reason I was looking at our team comps is I wanted to see our damage. So I could go a hybrid build here, and it would work fine, because we only have one AP. Well, t we have only one main AP damage. This is Malzahar. Right. They will come. I'm very afraid of, uh, of Kane being here right now. So I'm just gonna last hit both, all of these, because I don't, want to I don't want to be in a bad position when Kane gets here. I don't want to be under their tower. That was a good idea from Maokai trying to zone him off the cannon. So once this next wave crashes, right here, I'm going to go ahead and hard shove. We need to hard shove this. I need Maokai to help me. The reason I'm hard shoving this, my Graves is here. I want to give him lane prowl here. Wow, what a flash. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh, that's really good. Nice. Get the wave. Just gotta shove one more. Just walk away. Let's recall here. Alright, so the reason um, I look at the team comps while on loading screen is for the builds, right? So this game, since I only have one AP, um, I can go my hybrid build here, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. For the early Q evolve on hybrid build, I'm gonna need double longsword because I didn't actually start a Doran's Blade, but what I can do is I can actually buy a Doran's Blade um, to counteract that, but which I'm actually going to. It's not bad this game. I'm gonna buy a Doran's Blade. You guys may be calling me fucking crazy, but trust me, this is not that bad to do if you have a lead like this to guarantee Q evolve. So next. Next thing on my mind is getting Q evolved. That's the most important thing on Kaisa. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna E spam back to laying off cooldown. That's the first step. Second step is set your goals. Like think ahead. Think ahead when you guys are walking back to lane. What's your next goal? My next goal is pickaxe because that's when I get Q evolved, right? That's our number one goal is getting Q evolved. So I don't want to back for another 800 gold. I don't want to back for another 800 gold. So we're gonna freeze this. We're gonna play really slow. My game just that was okay. Uh, I, I don't know why the fuck that happened, <laughs> but it froze. Um, so yeah, we want to freeze this. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks and throw away our lead. Um, the number one problem I see most ADCs do is they throw away their lead because they try to like push the lead too hard, and they can potentially throw it by like, going for a stupid tower dive or managing their wave bad or something like that. So yeah, we're just gonna last hit. We're gonna we're not gonna take too many risks. Also, Varus is level six, so he did hit his power spike. So again, just keep last hitting. We don't want to take any risks. Once we get eight, once we get 875 gold, we're gonna back, and we have our Q evolve, which means we can bully them off the way. We're just gonna go for a quick ward here, auto Q that guy. We want to shove this now. I was spared for a reason. We want to shove this now. If he wants to help me, she should be dead here. I did not expect her to die in one auto. I came for the hunt. Stay for free. Uh, probably can't do anything here. Yeah, I can't really help him there. That's all him. I'm afraid of uh the Silas. Yeah. Nice. This, if he dies, it's not worth. Okay, that's definitely not worth. I'm also going to get my back stopped. Uh, but we did succeed in my goal. We're going to back. We don't give a fuck about this wave, right? This wave doesn't get us anything because we already have what we came for. We have our Q Evolve. That was just a little greedy. I could have exhausted him earlier. So we have our Q Evolve. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy this. Oh, oops, my bad. Um, we're going to fucking, uh, that's definitely not pickaxe. There we go. We're going to buy this. And now we have Q Evolve. So in our next stop, 600 gold. We need 600 more gold for our Kraken. So we're not going to back until we have 600 more gold, unless or unless we're like, we're forced to, right? I really wish I didn't exhaust him. Um, 
because now I don't have it for the next two v two, which I don't think we need it because I have Q evolve. So I'm gonna, so playing with Q evolve versus playing without Q evolve is a little bit different than on Kaisa. I can be a lot more of a bully laner once I have Q evolve, and you'll I'll show you how. The only issue is I don't want to overstep my boundaries on Varus because he can just arm me. Oops, my bad. Thank you, Mr. Maokai. Shit it. We have red buffs, so we'll regen here. Hmm. So I wanna I just wanna be careful of the Varusar, that's it. He's guaranteed dead, nice. She's dead too. Well played. I'm gonna hug the bottom wall here, he can kill me. There's nothing I can do. He's dead. It's definitely fine though. I have to bait this if they try to dive. Okay, we're gonna clear this and then recall. Now recall. Okay, good. We have our item. We this is going great for us. This is going great for us. The enemy bot lane is not respecting us for some reason. Okay, so next thing on the list is a wit's end. Actually, no, sorry, boots. We want boots next. You want boots next. If you're going lethal tempo, if you have hella blades, you can you can opt for wit's end next. But since I have lethal tempo, I need to stack it. Like the most important thing is stacking lethal tempo when you have this rune, and to stack it faster, obviously more attack speed. Uh, so we're gonna go boots next. Nice. I'm gonna shove this out. Use Q to shove. If you guys are wondering why I'm shoving here is because I know they were walked mid. I saw them walk mid. Um, so I'm shoving. Get some plates here. Some solo gold. Gonna E here. You typically wanna save E to like run away if you see somebody on the map. I'm pl playing with no wards, so I'm gonna back up here. I can't get another plate with this wave anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead, walk up here, clear some vision. I'm gonna get some deep wards as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and go ward here. Uh, the two spots to ward when you're on blue side as an ADC is here and here. So here, here. Those are the two spots to ward as an ADC. <clears throat> well, I do not care about that. I'm gonna go shove bot in. That's the smart option. Actually, I'm gonna recall as long as nothing happens. I have boots here. There's no reason for me to stay. I'm gonna get boots before drag. Hopefully nothing happens. Uh, I'm going to walk up, actually. Looks like a fight's 100% going to happen, and I need to be here for it. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. See, the, me staying there is really important. Um, if if I would have no, if, if like there was nothing that was gonna happen there, like if if Maokai was just there to be a nuisance, I would have left and just whatever. But since I saw my whole team rotating for the fight, it's really important that I stay. Like really important. Now we're gonna back. We're not gonna take any risks. As I said, do not overstay for plates. Don't do any of that. If you have a lead, just play safe. Keep your lead. Look at my lead. Look at my lead. There's no reason to throw this. It's going great. We got boots. We almost have our next item. We're going to grab this and we're going to E mid. I'm going to ping I'm going mid twice. It's just so Malzahar notices. Hopefully he'll walk bot. Cool. See? There you go. Always ping. Always use pings. Thank you, Mr. Malzahar. I appreciate it, my friends. This is going great so far. This is going great so far. I'm going to ping I'm going in on this guy because I see Maokai flanking on the map. He should be dead here. I don't want to flash for him. I'm going to be honest. Nice. But I say, I don't want to use flash. He's not worth much. Oh, I suck. We're going to walk towards top now. If you guys are wondering why I'm pathing towards top, I don't want to. It's too dangerous for me to walk up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go assist this guy, which I don't think he actually needs it. He's really strong. They healed up full. Oh. 
I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Uh, that was bad for me to get hit by a cane knockup. That was that was 100% misplayed by me. I apologize, guys. I should have just ran away. Uh, I just gave Kane 1k. That is really bad. Um, my apologies. Uh, in that scenario, you just want to run away. That's a that's a very bad mistake for me. In that scenario, after killing Sona, if you guys are wondering why I flashed, um, preemptively on Sona is to get behind her. So I or sorry, the the whole reason I flashed is to flash the R, but she didn't R. I apologize. I don't know why I said get behind her. Uh. But yeah, let's flash R, but she didn't R. Anyway, we got Evolve. We got Evolve. We got our next item. So we're in a good spot, but we just gave Kane 700 gold. See, those are the risks you don't need to take. Um, I had no choice but to wait for uh, wait for my uh, my Maokai to get there as well, because I can't 1v2 them after they got fewer alts. So yeah, definitely had to wait. Unfortunately, um, I just should have ran away after I got the. Uh, the Sona kill. That is 100% my fault. My apologies. So now I'm going to stay mid, get gold. Remember, the most important thing is an AD carry, not just Kai'Sa, is getting gold as efficiently as possible with dying as little as possible. Right now, I've done a pretty good job. Um, I've only died once. We're going to rotate up here, just in case. We're just going to rotate. We're going to sit here. See if maybe Varus will start rotating. If Varus rotates up, we kill him here. Perfect. I have R, I have Exhaust. She can't fight this. He's dead. We're not going to rotate to that. So we're going to shove mid instead. Don't, don't, don't. I'm going to ping this from Malzahar. I have to leave now. That sucks. I think I just run a Malzahar here. He's dead, I think. Nope, never mind. Nice. Yeah, I just run a Malzahar there. Malzahar didn't even have ults. I'm not going to walk up until he presses R. Okay, that's fine. Save my cooldowns. Uh, we're going to go ahead and path mid here. Grab this wave, get this tower. Oh, and blue buff. Nice. I'm going to let Mal's have this. It's fine. Typically, in most scenarios, you want to take that, but my Mal's is playing perfectly fine, so there's no reason to take that from him. Maybe uh, it might tilt him if I try to take it. So we're going to shove out mid lane, and then we're going to go ahead and recall. See how close we are to Nashers, 27. Okay, so we need around nine, uh, 800 more golds. Okay, we're going to recall. 700 more golds. We back. Uh, drag's in 35. We're going to path the drag. I see this guy on me. Jesus Christ, I was scratching my head and I saw him on the map running at me. So yeah, we're going to back. Path straight to drag. Go ahead and buy this. Oops, not two of those. We're going to buy this. And we are very, very close to our W evolve. If you guys don't know what this build is, this is my own personal build that I made. I created it a while ago. Danny actually used it. He used to use it on Kai'Sa. Uh, EG Danny. He's an LCS winner. Um, this is a build that I created. Is I, I, I can say that till the day I die. Um, and yeah, it's hybrid build. It's really good on hit builds. Um, it's somewhat situational, but you can run it in most games. Okay, so here I just don't want to get picked. I don't have to rotate the drag, right? Because I, I don't have to be there to kill it. My team is so strong. So we're just going to shove out mid, keep mid prowl. So somebody has to sit mid and deal with me, right? Because I, I could potentially kill the tower, <clears throat> which I'm going to walk up and kill it because I see my ma I'm going to wait for my Maokai to walk up through here, right? This is fine. My Maokai is right here again. Like I said, we're just baiting for him. If you guys are wondering why I didn't R in, oh, I have R. I just have to play it really slow here. If you guys are wondering why I didn't R in is... Uh, again, I, I had no vision over there. I didn't know who was over there. Anybody could have been over there. Yeah, see, this is... I have to play this slow. I have to play this slow. Nice. Okay, this guy has to leave. 
I will kill him. I can E auto RW on him if he stays. Uh, I think we just opt for two inhibs here. And then go Baron, maybe? Yeah, I see I'm taking like very minimal risks. Just because I have a 1k bounty. Like, it's it's the main reason I'm taking very minimal risks. So here we're going to let that kill it. We're going to walk away. We're going to go check his top side before we recall. We have enough for our item. We're going to go check top side. The only reason I'm going to check top side for camps is to deny him gold. So if I take these, not only am I getting myself gold, but I'm also denying the enemy team gold, which is a comeback factor. You know, they get gold, they get items, right? Nice. No reds. Okay, I'm going to go take Krugs. I'm going to recall. Okay, never mind. We're just going to recall. Alright, we can just end. Just going to walk it down mid again. He's guaranteed dead. If I don't show up. So. If you guys didn't notice what I did there, I RW'd. I don't think I can end because Fiora. I can kill her, but I don't have mana. Nice. Cool. I can't end. Um, but I just hit recall. We get out of here. If you guys haven't noticed what I've been doing a lot this game is I've been baiting for my team. I've just been walking up like I'm stupid and I've just been perma baiting for my team. It is really good. Really good to do as an ADC because, you know, they see an ADC, they just go ballistic. Like, oh my god. ADC! ADC! Uh. They just run at you with their brain off and... Yeah. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been doing that a fuck ton this game. Non-stop. Non-stop this game. This is kind of a kind of a blowout though. Uh, hopefully, I can get more nail biters um, in the future. Um, but hopefully, this is enough to show you how I kind of think in a game. Even though I'm not the best at it, um, hopefully, I can get closer games in the future. But I don't really have much time to record often. W, miss my W. R here. We have a lethal tempo stack. We gotta stay in the fight here. Auto, we need to auto. We just need to auto anything. Keep level tempo. Nice. Okay, we're good. I have W again. Missing W with this build is very bad. A lot of your burst. I missed it again. Alright. Um, sorry that that wasn't like the, the the closest game ever. But I feel like I still showcase what is like possible. If you use your brain. Um, and think about what you're doing. Like your next move is. Rather than just you know turning off your brain and autopiloting. As you guys noticed. I, I was always thinking about what my next move was. I only made one mistake. And it wasn't super major because of the lead we had. Um, anyway. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want more content like this. Like more educational stuff. Please let me know. I would love to do more. Um, but as you guys see, I'm not the best at it, but I try my hardest and hopefully that guys, you know, that, that taught you guys how to play like the rank one Kaisa, former rank one Kaisa. I really appreciate all the love on my last two videos and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a good one.